We are now going to look at how climate finance differs from regular finance. Climate finance refers to local, national and transnational financing drawn from public or private sources of financing that seeks specifically to support climate change, mitigation and adaptation actions. This type of finance differs from regular finance because it is specific to projects or activities that are responding to climate change. Climate finance can be accessed for projects aiming to reduce greenhouse gas emissions or vulnerability, and projects aimed at increasing resilience of human and ecological systems. Climate finance has also emerged as an independent source of finance for climate action because significantly reducing greenhouse gas emissions requires large-scale investments. Now that we are familiar with the concepts of climate finance, we'll next look at how it differs from green finance and sustainable finance. Climate finance is often used interchangeably with green finance or sustainable finance. However, each of these concepts are considerably different. Green finance, for starters, is any structured financial activity that has been created to ensure a better environmental outcome. It could be a product or service that has been created to be more environmentally friendly or general financial operations that promote the eco-friendly practices. Green finance considers what is commonly known as the triple bottom line, people, planet, and profits. That is, socially inclusive, environmentally sound, and financially feasible. Sustainable finance, on the other hand, is more commonly associated with environmental, social, and governance factors to assess the long-term sustainability of companies and projects. Environmental factors could include the use of sustainable resources. Social factors could include human and animal rights, as well as consumer protection and diverse hiring practices. Governance factors could refer to management, employee relations, and compensation practices of organizations. So while green finance and sustainable finance might fall under the same umbrella, climate finance takes on a much more direct approach to climate change mitigation and adaptation and requires more than a business-as-usual approach. One can always make a distinction on climate finance as it includes specific action on mitigation or adaptation measures. Climate financing also has certain reporting requirements that aim to generate positive, measurable, social and environmental impact alongside a financial return. So, to summarize, climate finance is a subset of conventional finance. It is still considered to be an investment as it considers the risks, costs, and benefits of the climate action intervention. But for an investment to qualify for climate finance, proof of climate impact beyond business as usual is generally required. This provision is often difficult to quantify and can sometimes create complex, burdensome and often expensive application and reporting requirements. But doing what's necessary to access these funds also presents a huge opportunity for economic growth, improved competitiveness, cleaner air, conservation of ecosystems and resources and increased security for municipalities.